It's about being conscious of the future. Your actions of leaving it better than you found it affects years to come. Ever since I could remember, I've been around food. In 1974, my father opened up the Cheese Emporium in Greenport. At that time, it was a very quiet place that was just filled with farmers and fishermen. It was a far reach for somebody to think that far ahead and see where this place was going. Now, Greenport, 40 plus years later, a lot of changes have happened. A lot more wineries have come out here, which is great for business, great for the restaurant, having great seasons. But with that comes the downfall of overpopulation and a lot of development, which could be the downfall of our water quality. Since I've been back, Working for my father, there have been plenty of places that have been shut down already because of pollution. As a chef out here, we go by the season. Buying local inspires creativity. At least for me, I like to focus on what's in season and just go by what you're able to get for that day or week. To go down to the fish market, and see Charlie and ask him what's coming in, what's the weather gonna be like, are you gonna be able to get scallops? Early November brings a lot of baymen out to Orient Harbor and surrounding waters. Charlie's fish market is nothing but people shucking and a lot of laughing, beer drinking, and just culture happening right there. It's amazing, it's what I grew up with. It's still going on, and when it comes to water quality, if we don't have clean water, then That'll be a lost part of history here on the North Fork. Seasonally, we try to focus on local organic produce. You have every choice to make a difference and to source locally. Having a connection to the producer, the fisherman, the bayman, the winemaker, it's about forging these bonds with them and being connected to the producer as well as the ingredient. I always said to myself that I wanted to take my love of the water and the outdoors and apply it to my cooking career, the marriage of two passionate worlds of mine, which led me to forming North Fork Sea Soul Company. Anybody that grew up out here is familiar with taking a mouthful of water at some point as a kid, and I think our salt reminds them of that flavor. It's just a distinct, nostalgic flavor for a very small batch operation. Two salt pans and three kettles. Through figuring out how to make the best product I could possibly make, it actually drew me closer to the water than ever. I became more knowledgeable. It's very easy to mess up salt. Too high of a temperature, not enough salinity. We don't harvest anywhere after a long period of rain because of runoff. In the past years, there are houses on our skinny little strip of the North Fork that are being built and it's important to update the building codes along our shorelines to ensure proper septic systems and that nothing is leaching out into our waters to raise our nitrogen levels. If nitrogen pollution becomes a problem like it is west of us, you can be sure that Greenport will no longer be a destination. It will destroy a lot of businesses, it will destroy a lot of families because this is their livelihood. My future depends on water. Without clean water, there is no life on the North Fork. My name is Scott Bowman and I am a salt maker.